we're talking about selling your home. And if you haven't called me yet, shame on you. Um, because I want to help you sell your home and get the most money for your home, the best price, and help you move on to the next stage in your life, whatever and wherever that may be. So one of the things that we need to do to get your home ready to sell is, and before we put it on the market, we need to perch and stage. And those things are perfect topic for our guest today, Lisa Woodruff with Organized 365. Lisa, thanks for joining me again. Thanks for having me back. Okay, okay, we have a lot to talk about today because this time of year, people aren't really thinking about selling their home or maybe they're thinking about selling their home in the next six months in the quote unquote spring market and the spring market it's February, March, not April, May. Okay, so one of the big things that people need to do when think about when they're even thinking about selling their home, even yes. if they're not thinking about selling their home is purging. And purging means getting rid of the stuff, the crap that you don't need and don't want and don't use. Right. When you're moving, it's a great excuse. Absolutely, yep. So how do we even get started? So if you are thinking in advance, it's easier because you have more time to purge. Correct. And there are three things you're going to want to do with the stuff that's in your house when you're moving. You want to purge it so you don't have to pay to move it. Mm -hmm. You want to sell it if you're going to get value out of it. We're going to talk about that. Sure. And then you want to stage your house for what it's going to look like for the next owner, not how you want your house to look like. So it's three totally different ways of looking at your stuff. So number one, Purging is the fastest and the easiest. Don't make this like your life project or mm -hmm. anything. Grab hefty bags and try to fill 10 of them in an hour. I know you probably couldn't do it, but I'm saying walk through that house. My husband like, could do it. Yeah, <laughs> like you're like, we don't need this and this is broken. There's right. a lot of stuff in our house that's broken or not. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Reduce the amount really quickly and then start to look through the DVDs and see which DVD you don't want. Like, look at the big stuff. And do you really need DVDs anymore? I had somebody on Facebook and, the, you know, we have all of, everybody's now selling yes. the oddest things on social media. It's just like a one and done thing. Like, here's a little romper for a 2T yeah, no. toddler. I'm like, Donate what? it. Donate yeah, it. Donate what are you doing? So you I paid good money for it is what you keep thinking. I paid you good do, money okay, for that. You're right. And, and I am a bit of a hoarder. I, I admit that. I don't like to get rid of things that, you're right, I paid a lot of money it. for, or I'm afraid if I throw it away, I'm going to need it. I might need that someday. <gasps> You've heard that, right? I might need that someday. <laughs> I'm saving these Disney VHS tapes oh, for my, my grandkids. <laughs> yes. But I won't be able to play them. <laughs> I guess we'll buy new ones. Yeah, or, or they'll pay you it'll know, be digital. on yeah. Amazon and watch it on demand, on your phone. There's so much that has changed. I mean, I have four crockpots in my basement right now, and I tried to give one to my son. He said I, my crockpot broke last year, but I have. I went down to my basement and I have four crockpots, and I said, "Oh, here, you can have this one." You know, I haven't used that darn crockpot probably. He goes, yeah. "The thing doesn't even remove from itself," and right. he goes, "This is stupid." But you know what? That stupid crockpot is still sitting on my right. counter because I don't want to throw it away. Because someone may use it. Someone may need it. And it's generational thinking too. Like it wasn't as easy for us to originally get the crock pot. Now Amazon will deliver everything except a baby to your door within 24 hours, basically. Basically. But we used to have to like, it was a lot harder to get stuff. So we have value on our stuff. Now, if you're thinking about selling, here's what I want you to, to repeat Talk to after us. me. Repeat, repeat after me. Got it. We are selling a house. A house. A we, house. We are selling, selling a, house. a house. We are not selling VHS tapes. We're not selling one romper at a time. We're not selling crock pots that can't come out of their outers. <laughs> we are selling a house. A we, house. Uh, we are selling a house. And it's the biggest sale that you will, I mean, it's not right. $2.99. So when you think, I'm going to have a garage sale. Oh, please. Oh, I, I've been down that road. That is the worst thing. <laughs> okay, great. Thing. You're going to spend a uh -uh. week. No. Having this garage sale, two days sitting outside in the freezing cold, having this garage sale. And you and make $3.99. Uh, <laughs> even if you make $1,000. You're not. I don't. You're I, selling a house. So the statistic that we have, which is a true statistic, is that the return on cleaning and decluttering in your house is 872%. And you'll feel like the weight is lifted off of your shoulders because all of the junk is gone from your life. So you can spend a week of your life and have a garage sale. Let's say you make $1,000. Nobody makes $1,000. No. 
Or you could donate all of that stuff to Goodwill or whatever your charity of choice is. I like that. And you will sell your house for $9,000 more. Because you can't... People want to see how much storage space you have. And if your storage is full, it means your whole house is full and there's not enough room for them to grow in that house. Oh, for sure. So, yeah, yeah when you... You absolutely have to... And our friend Carol Lakey with Carol Lakey Designs, yeah. she suggests, and you tell me if you, you're on this board with this, she suggests you actually start in the basement and move your way up. She always starts in the basement. I love Carol. I I personally recommend, if you're going to list your house, that you go get a storage unit. Okay. And move all your storage in there. Sort it all and move it into the storage unit and then work on the living spaces. Okay. And, and you know what? It depends on what you want to do, how you want to do it, but you have to do something.